In a matter of seconds, a country music festival turned tragic, a storm of gunfire raining down upon an innocent crowd. I know, I know, but I have to stay on top. Ooh, that was October 1st, 2017, after a shooter added a bump stock to all of his 14 semi-automatic rifles and slaughtered 60 people while injuring more than 500 at a country music festival in Las Vegas. The carnage took just 10 minutes. The bump stock helped him unleash nine rounds per second, killing more people faster. Today, Leonard Leo's conservative Supreme Court majority led by its most ostentatiously corrupt justice, Clarence Thomas, said that Donald Trump overstepped. Donald Trump, I just said, overstepped his authority in 2018 when he had the ATF ban those devices, a ruling he expected that they would make because he didn't really want to ban them. Bump stocks cause a semi-automatic rifle's trigger to buck against the shooter's finger, repeatedly bumping the trigger so the shooter doesn't have to pull it, effectively reloading the gun at the same speed as an automatic rifle. Bump stocks effectively turn guns into machine guns. It is against the law to own a machine gun. Well, it was until today. Thanks to Justice Thomas, Alito, Roberts, Kavanaugh, Gorsuch, and Barrett, it is now essentially legal for Americans to own machine guns. Thomas used some twisted logic and ridiculous diagrams to explain that bump stocks do not turn semi-automatic rifles into machine guns, even though they clearly do, a point that Justice Sonia Sotomayor made in her dissent on behalf of the minority. She wrote, today the court puts bump stocks back into civilian hands. To do so, it casts aside Congress's definition of machine gun. When I see a bird that walks like a duck, swims like a duck, and quacks like a duck. I call that bird a duck. A bump stock equipped semi-automatic rifle fires automatically more than one shot without manual reloading by a single function of the trigger. Because I, like Congress, call that a machine gun. I respectfully dissent. President Biden reacting to the ruling issued a statement saying, quote, weapons of war have no place on the streets of a civil society. Today, six justices put those weapons of war back on the streets. Even more terrifying, this court has yet to issue a decision on whether domestic abusers can be banned from owning guns or whether Trump as president would have absolute immunity to order assassinations. Well, today, they've made, they've made the most lethal implements of murder, mass murder, and assassination more accessible. Joining me now is Fred Guttenberg, whose daughter Jamie was killed in the Parkland, Florida shooting in 2018. He is the co-author of American Carnage, shattering the myths that fuel gun violence. Fred, I hate that I, that I call upon you and only see you in these circumstances, but I yeah. just want to let you respond to what the court did today. So today, um, demolition crews started tearing down the building that my daughter was killed in, my daughter and 16 others. Today was the day they started tearing it down. And I keep thinking about that building, Sandy Hook, uh, uh, you know, uh, Valde, all of these instances of gun violence that because of today's decision, we won't be talking about 15 killed or 20 killed. We'll be talking about 100 killed or 200 killed. Now, Joy, let me be very clear about what the Supreme Court is doing. 20 years ago, when my daughter was born, AR-15 cells were maybe 2% of all guns sold. In 2008, the Heller decision defined a phrase called common use. The industry went on a manufacturing binge to put these weapons into common use. That's 16 years ago. Following that, they developed this technology to turn them into machine guns. And today, the Supreme Court said, have at it. More people are going to die. Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas's signature will be on their death certificate. For whatever reason, that man hates everything that makes America great. And this is going to be so deadly. So I just want to say one more thing. There's a really simple solution. Every single person watching the show today needs to check your voter registration. Mm -hmm. Go online right now and do it. Check your voter registration. Make sure you vote in November. Actually, make sure you vote early if you can, because what this Supreme Court did is gave MAGA the tools to potentially turn that time leading into the election into one where they're going to threaten 
this kind of violence. Yeah. Vote early, vote absent if you can, check your voter registration today. Yeah, and I mean, it's, it, it is such a great point because the, the only power we have against the Supreme Court is the ballot. I mean, your beautiful daughter was killed along with, as you said, 16 of her friends. That isn't even in the top five deadliest shootings that we've had in this country. No. The one in Las Vegas was number one at 60 because this man had what we used to call a street sweeper. He had effectively a machine gun. Vegas, Orlando, 49 people in Pulse nightclub. We just celebrated the sad anniversary of that. Blacksburg, Virginia, 32. Newtown, Connecticut, 26. Uh, Sutherland Springs, Texas, 26. That, as you said, doesn't even get to um, the, those, those babies um, in Connecticut who just graduated from, from high school, by Yesterday, the way. They're now Sandy on Hook. Right. Sandy Hook, those kids. That doesn't even get to them. That doesn't even get to Uvalde. That was like 24 kids. Take each of those shootings in which normally people were using AR-15s, add a bump stock, and those 17 kids at Parkland are 30 or 40 or 50 kids. You take a bump stock and yeah. add it to those weapons in each of those cases, and it's 50 kids, 60 kids. Is that what hundreds. they do? Hundreds. Hundreds. You can kill hundreds of people in 30 seconds. I, um, <laughs> Go, please. Back in March, back in March, I walked Vice President Harris and the Office of Gun Violence Prevention Team through the school where my daughter was killed. It was still an untouched crime scene with the blood, the shards of glass, coursework on the desks. We walked them through, and she knew beforehand what she was going to walk through because I made sure of it. But she did it because she needed to see what this level of carnage looked like and what could have been done to stop it. And she also needed to see I, I'll give you an example. On the third floor, kids got locked out of classrooms. And when he went to reload, a bunch of kids were saved. Imagine, okay, if he had high capacity magazines and a bump stock. Yeah. We're not talking about a few more. Right. We're talking about hundreds of kids. We're talking about people in Walmart where you have these AR-15s that have shown up multiple times. We're talking about movie theaters. We're talking about places of worship. It's no longer 15 dead. It's 150. Yeah. And it, it's, it is insanity. I, I spoke today with uh, the, the person I go to, my go-to expert on, on firearms, who's a big Second Amendment guy, very, very sec pro Second Amendment, who agreed with me that one of the biggest people, that one of the biggest groups probably cheering for this are, are, are gangs. Because you have, in places like Florida, people who use AK-47 in gangs. Yeah. Now you don't have to worry about getting an illegal AK-47. You can buy a legally uh, acquired AR-15, put bump stocks on it, and now you've got the effective, effectively Uzis that can be used it's by worse. the worst it's people. Worse. It's making us, you know, what we see going on in Haiti could be coming here. In places like Florida, it's now also, you add that and permitless carry. Or other states, <laughs> you add on top of that open carry. Yes. And then you add on top of that this MAGA crowd talking about Second Amendment solutions <laughs> if they don't get the election result that they want. That's right. Supreme Court Justice Thomas and Alito have made clear where their allegiances stand. And it is with this insurrectionist crowd. I mean, they've made it clear. I don't know how much more they need to tell us for us yeah. to know that. And Supreme Court Thomas. Justice Thomas, he wrote this opinion. I, I, you know, his wife was part of the January 6th insurrection crowd. They are planning this stuff. I'll say it again. I, I can scream and yell or I can beg. I'm yeah. going to beg everyone. Check your voter registration tonight Amen. and make sure you vote. Amen. Fred, Gut Fred Guttenberg, um, thank you so much. You said it very clearly, and we need clarity in this moment. Thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you.